Hey, how's it going guys? My name is California and the weather outside right now is very Alex and I am in the beautiful state of hot. Wait, that didn't sound right. Hold on, let's try that again. Hey, how's it going? My name's Alex and I'm in the beautiful state of California and as you can see, it's very, very hot. This is my Ford 2020, <laughs> my 2020 Ford. Goodness gracious, what is going on? This is my 2020 Ford F350 and we got something special today. We're converting all of these Ram people to the religion of 10 speed, okay? <laughs> so that's that's the plan, let me explain. I am right now, I'm gonna meet up with a V-Belt and Son. I've been watching him for a little while. You know, I'll, I'll be honest, I was watching him only because I wanted to pass him in subs. <laughs> that's the only reason. But turns out, he has actually a lot of good videos on, you know, on some of the projects that he does, on some of the work that he's doing. And so it's really, really cool, however, he also has only Rams, I think, right? I'm pretty sure he only has Rams. And I think he has like a first gen. I watched his video where he did all four of them in a row. He has like a first gen, a second gen, a third, and a fourth. And he has a couple of, um, four, I think he has a couple of fourth gens. His, uh, his wife, I think, has one. But anyways, it turns out that I am one of those uh, kind of lucky and uh, rare people that has a Ford and drives it so that's the plan for today i'm gonna let sam that's his name i'm gonna let him drive my truck no sir what's going How on man, man? Nice alex i'm sam <laughs> all right you know one of these axles is new and one of them is not based on how the wheels are which one do you think that one is I'm gonna say that one's a new one. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's funny because like two days ago, I had another tire chew up all the way on the inside. And I'm like, bro, this thing is on its way out. Like it's so, it's literally, uh, it, some... that's why the cop pulled me over. He's like, cause your, your trailer looks kind of funny, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, I yeah. heard him say that. I was, right. like, what? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? That's such a- And I had 12,000 pounds just like I do right now. Yeah. 12,000? Yeah. Hey, I already ordered the new trailer, okay? What'd you get? A Diamond C. Did you? No, I'm kidding. I would uh, never get a Diamond C. They don't make Diamond Cs in 40 footers. Dude, yeah, they do. They don't make them in non CDL. I thought. Oh, crap. Dude, I don't was make. talking to Diamond I'll, C. Hold I'll on. I'll order it for you. you okay, hold on. VP? Hold on. I was, dude, I was talking to Diamond C for like a month really? be before I got this one. And it was two issues. First of all, they forced me to get bigger axles to if I want. They wouldn't do seven. A seven thousand pound axle. You can get, you can put whatever they'll rate it for what you want. But I, I, I want the parts availability from a seven thousand pound uh, axle. That's the main thing. Nobody has eight K well, anything. Got, if you got eights, then you're not going to be breaking them. Uh, so good point. <laughs> good point. But you're here's the thing. I asked him. I'm like, hey, Big Tex is saying seven thousand pounds for a forty footer. Can you be close to seven? He's like, no way. It's going to be at least eight thousand pounds. No I'm like, way. I don't want to give up a thousand pounds of freight. I'll tell you what. I'll drive. Okay, deal. <laughs> and put thirty thousand behind okay. the well, Ford. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Oh my. All right, we ready to party? Yeah, go ahead. You so. know the trailer is disconnected. This is like tunnel vision compared to Dodge. I feel like. I feel like the it's, roof is low. Well, that's because they reused the cab, right, from the F-150? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Isn't the cab the same from the F-150 like and they green? Are. I, I think they are. And so this, like, when my brother got into the Ford, he's like, dude, this cab is way smaller than your Ram. It's definitely smaller. Guaranteed. But it's longer. You know what I mean? There's yeah, more room front is. to back, but it's narrower. So this is um, not an XLT, but it's like the XT. No, um, that, this isn't. It says XLT right on the on the thing. Oh, you don't got no power though. Right. No power. What you calling? Seats. Um, it says XLT, but I think it has the upgraded screen here and here, because I was watching PD Diesel and he said, "Oh, the screen doesn't have what gear you're in," and mine does. Oh, you definitely gotta have that. That would be stupid not to have that. Right. And so I think Paul was dri like test driving a very very low trim. Oh. The, oh, you don't have the third camera up there. No. Do you have the drop the tailgate function? No. We got Tommy. <laughs> there we go. Now you have it. There we go. You want to back it up to it? No, dude, you got it. All right. Hopefully it's high enough. Oh, the good old Ford.
right, how's it look down there? No cars. Come on, Ford. I will say this, it's a lot spongier. I said that earlier on the camera. It's a lot spongier than um, my Dodge or Ram. Okay. So third gear, she's ripping up this little hill. And drive. We haven't, it drive until tow haul mode, so. It's fourth year right now. What are we doing, 35? Yeah, I pull this hill, pull trucks, I just, I run about 30 mile an hour up this hill because it's in between gears. They grab fifth. What? It's already beaten both those other two, and one's not stock, so. Dude, this thing is awesome. I like how it's got a comfortable gear, fifth gear. Right. And That's it's just cruising right at where it wants to be. And, and it doesn't race to seventh or ninth. Yeah. On on a ram on a ramp, we'd be it would attempt to go to sixth gear for some reason. Oh we'd, yeah, we could go to sixth, and then it'd be like, we don't know what to do. Let's go to second. No, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say fourth. Try to be nice to the ramp. You, I think you test drove in your previous video, um, um, the truck, and you're like, this, or your buddy said this truck is too fast. That is the exact same feeling I got when I switched from my 68 RFE rental to this one. Yeah. That is the same exact, I'm like, dude, this is too fast. Well, that when you got that white truck, the white Ford, I was like, you're all hyped and driving. And I was like, what, there's no way. And then I drove one and I was like, that was an honest, <laughs> honest thing. So the loop that I have planned is I want to see what the tow haul with the exhaust brake Oh, the exhaust brake is garbage. Is it? Yes. There's some people that would say, like I had more people saying it was garbage versus more people saying it was like, yeah, it's not bad, it's comparable. And I was like, I kind of doubt that. So here's what I can say about the exhaust brake, okay? Mm -hmm. You need it to shift really aggressively down. Yeah. It does not do that on its own. It might shift from 10th to 8th, but where you really feel it slowing down is in 6th. It doesn't go to sixth unless you're on the brakes a good amount. What about fifth? We're in fifth right now. Well, yeah. I mean, if we were in tenth, you know what I mean? It has to basically it has to jump four gears for you to feel that. So it's when I, down. I'm going to tap the brakes, it's going to want to downshift like it should. A gear or two, right? Because this hill is right. kind of decent. Right. So if you hit the brakes a little bit, it'll go into fifth, maybe. Fourth. Fourth. Okay. And but then, that's two thousand RPMs. It slows down over three. Yeah. You want it to be over 3,000 people. Well, so we're going to have to do a third, so that'll be... Right. That's pretty... So, and that, that's my only issue, which I think they could fix in a tune. If they tune it, like, max tow haul or most aggressive exhaust brake, they could solve that and just go straight from 10th. Usually, I'm going, you know, 65 miles an hour, and it's in 10th at 65. Mm -hmm. And so, it goes from 10th to 8th. If they tuned it in a max tow haul situation, it should go from 10th to 6th. Is the exhaust brake on right now? Yes, it is. That's that uh, the one right there, the first button right oh, by the mileage. Second. That's it. That's engine brake. Okay. Now we're, we're in regular like second. Right, because it only slows down over three thousand RPMs. Look right there. Now you can feel. You should be able to feel it a little bit here. A little bit. It's still pushing this. Shit out right. Of us. Right. Wow. That's pushing us hard. Right. <laughs> okay. That is the biggest issue that I have. Right. And that will make or break the thing. Like, we're towing with hydraulic disc brakes on the Diamond C. It will stop us just by itself. But I want to go over here and just check, see how the brakes are. Okay, let's check them hubs. They're hot. Yeah, they're hot. <laughs> Coming down that hill, just one run with the Ford, they got hot. And running the RPMs up pretty damn good. Ooh, those are hotter than I've ever had them with mine. <laughs> <They're>, yeah. <laughs> Ford, everybody was right. It's got the power, but it doesn't have the brakes. All right, you ready to see how much this thing weighs? I'm kind of curious too, because I actually, I'm kind of guessing. <laughs> right. So, fingers crossed that they are still open. I'll run in and get oh, okay. this. So uh, that is correct. We weigh 38,500 pounds total, which if the truck is about 9,000 pounds, which I think it is because my trailer weighs 72 and I'm 16.3 empty, 
that puts us the truck or uh, the trailer and the load he just did it right there, 29,500. That's how much the trailer and the load weighs. What we're gonna do now is really see what this thing can do. We know downhill is not gonna be um, what the Dodge Cummins combo will offer, but we're gonna see what it'll do uphill. Going up it with my new 3500 was uh, about 38, 37 mile an hour towing this exact same trailer and machine. And then with my 08, which people get confused why the 08's faster than the new one, is well, it's got some go fast parts underneath it. It does it at 45 mile an hour. Okay. So we'll see if we can get 55 out of this one. And that's the towing speed limit. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> we'll cruise down there. We got a little bit of a drive to do that. Okay. So uh, we're climbing the hill that you said you do it in 45 miles an hour. 45 miles an hour. Give or so, take if traffic allows us to. Right. So we're doing 55, 56, 57, something like that. That fan just makes it seem like it's just really trying, but it just, it's at 2300 RPM right, right now. Right, and that's actually really low. Are you all the way down? It's all the way down. Okay. I don't want to get too grouchy going up this corner. Oh, no way. I'll try to, t oh no. What are the odds? I should have, I don't know, we should have looked as we were watching cars go by. We'll see, we'll pass this guy. So I, I normally hit it at about 60 is all that my trucks will hit it at. Oh, this is the big hill? Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna hit it at 60. Oh, but there's a passing thing. Yeah, but we got lucky and we might time it just right. Let's see if these little cars will Oh, there he goes. No, we're good. There you go, pass that guy. We're still at 55. When's it gonna do six? Come on, give me six. Doing already. I got all the throttle I can. There it goes, that's six. Oh no, we're down to 50. This is just in pure drive. Right, no tow hole. No, it should have well, been a tow hole. Toe hole. Yeah. Okay. It is gonna do it at right at the same speed the 08 does it at. At about 45, it's gonna be at 46. It's gonna beat it by one, maybe two mile an hour. But we, but we did have that bobble at the bottom where I kind of checked up trying to time it with the uh, the semi truck. I really wanted to see 55 out of it, to be honest with you. Ford is better than Ram, dude. You gotta admit it. One mile an hour. One mile an hour is one mile an hour. That that truck is uh, annoying. Oh, it did it though. Um, I guess if I would have manually downshifted it earlier on, we would have seen better results, but just to see what it would do. Because that's with my truck, well, the stick shift, yeah, I'm gonna have to downshift it. But with my automatic 3500, I just put it in tow haul and just what it did is what it did, and it pulled it. Granted, that one's a couple years older than this, but it did it at, uh, what I say earlier? I think you said 35 or 38 30, or 30, something. Like yeah, 35, 37, I did a couple holes up that day, so. <laughs> it smoked that. Right. <laughs> so much better than the 35, slightly better than the 55. Yeah, with a bunch of go fast this, parts. Yeah. Yeah. Technically, this truck on paper, 475 horsepower, and then my 3500 has only got 385. So, at like 930 torque. Back to uh, square one as far as buying a new truck, I think we'll have to wait for the new Ram. Right. Or unless Ford. I'll, be honest like i'm open-minded with the idea of getting a ford based on how well it pulls this around right pretty effortlessly and your math on fuel mileage that it's been getting right it sounds better than mine gets empty right. that has to say something right there but if this one just had a great exhaust brake this would be the no-brainer as far as the 2020 the truck. savings that you'll get in fuel mm -hmm. you'll reinvest back into pads and rotors <laughs> yeah no kidding <laughs> we made it back in one piece and is that on fire get out of here <laughs> <laughs> oh let's get out and talk about what we discovered today all right, all right we're back from our test drive slash stress test you know because i mean guys think about this right the trailer is 29 and a half thousand pounds right my gross combined weight total is usually under 26,000, usually. usually. Unless unless I'm getting pulled over in Washington for 60 pounds overweight. Right. But no, but usually it's under 26,000 pounds. And right now we just towed 
29,500 with our gross combined weight being uh, 38 and a half, right? Now, I just want to keep in mind, um, Sam does have a CDL class A, so it's not like, you know, and I, I actually didn't drive it not even once. So no, every everything is above board, above the books or up, whatever the case may be. However, every, we did everything legally and we scaled it and so we're good to go. Now, there is one question, right? I started this video, we're trying to convert this Ram Heathen to the Cummins, uh, Dodge Cummins. <laughs> right to to Ford right to the Ford religion or to the Ford cult Ford cult now so we have one simple question to ask Sam okay Sam what do you think about the Ford are you convinced are you switching tell us be wow. honest this thing's an absolute ripper pulls that like your daily drive and go get some donuts on Sunday great truck love it no complaints Ford top notch Cut it? Yep, that's it. Okay, this thing sucks. We need to get a better exhaust brake or get a Cummins in it and, or we get this transmission behind a Cummins. Until then, we ain't happy. Okay, as I'm finishing up editing this video, I wanna do a couple, like, my closing thoughts, right? Because I didn't get a chance to really say it. And plus, I've, I've had some time to think about it because that was a couple weeks ago. And basically, it, it, it goes like this. The people that get the most benefit from the 10 speed are also the same people that would prefer having a good exhaust brake instead. So basically, unless Ram puts a 10 speed in their truck or Ford gets a better exhaust brake in theirs, um, it really won't be an apples to apples comparison. That'll do it for this video, guys. Hit the like button and let me know what you th your thoughts are in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Peace.